Hello there guys and welcome back to another X-Plane 12 video. Today we are going to be taking a look at X-Plane 12's weather director and how to customize weather in X-Plane 12. In this video we are going to be taking a look at the two weather modes available in X-Plane 12 that is the real time mode and the weather director mode. We are currently situated at Portland International. This is the default demo airport for X-Plane 12. In order to access the weather and customization options in X-Plane 12, we hover the mouse at the top of the screen and then click on the airplane icon. From the flight configuration menu, we're going to click on the customize button located here on the weather section. Let us first load up real-time weather. You will notice that in this version of X-Plane, the weather interval option has been obliterated. The weather will be loaded automatically and seamlessly across the world in the flight simulator. We have now loaded real-time weather here at Portland International Airport. I have verified through several independent sources that the MATAR information loaded in X-Plane matches that of the real world. From the weather settings, you have a visual representation of all the cloud and wind layers currently loaded in the sim based on real-world METAR. This option is also available when you customize the weather. There is a limitless number of cloud and wind layers that you can add. This significantly enhances the realism as the weather can be loaded, depicted, and shown at every stage of flight at any given altitude. From the right side here of the weather settings window, you have also access to the visibility, precipitation, the temperature, the altimeter settings. You have the runway and water conditions as well, as you can see the runway wetness, the wave height, the wave direction, as well as the thermals. As you can see here, we have the climb rate 19 feet per minute. Let us now use the built-in weather director in X-Plane 12 to customize the weather to our liking. In order to customize the weather in X-Plane 12, you need to select the option Manually Enter Weather. Please note, when you use Manually Enter Weather, the current weather will still remain here. You are able to delete all these wind layers, add your own, or you can use the existing wind layers from the real-world METAR to enhance the weather. Explain 12 Weather Director gives you several presets that you can use or customize to your liking. Or you can simply select to clear the entire wind layers here and start fresh. Let's take a look at some of the presets. As you can see here, we have several presets to use. VFR Few Clouds. As you can see, it places few cumulus clouds at a certain altitude. Now you can actually move the cloud layer. You can increase the size of the cloud layer and that of course is going to increase the coverage. You can also select the type of cloud. You can also select the cloud coverage. Few, scattered, broken, or overcast. You can change the tops if you want. And you can also change the visibility. You can also increase the precipitation as you can see here. You can also change the airport temperature, the altimeter settings at the airport. You are also able to change the runway wetness as you can see here. You can increase the wave height and the wave direction. You can also change the variation over location and time as you can see here. Variation across the region you can select from none to maximum variation. You can also change the evolution over time from rapidly improving all the way to rapidly deteriorating. Let us now try another preset. This time we're going to select the large scale thunderstorms. As you can see, it inserts a very large cloud layer here that is at 2000 all the way to 45,000 feet MSL. There is also some rain there. As you can see, the precipitation is severe and the airport temperature is 24 Celsius. We are going to tweak this a little bit and we're gonna take this to minus 14 Celsius. 
We're going to change the runway wetness to standing water maximum and we're going to change the wavelength and the direction. Let us go ahead and do maximum variation for the variation across the region and the evolution over time. We're going to select rapidly deteriorating. Let's go ahead and say done and apply. As you can see now the weather conditions are completely changed and we have a very large thunderstorm here as you can see. You can also see the water drops on the ground and you can see the beautiful refraction that really shows the wetness of the ground, really creating a very immersive experience. You'll be very pleased to know that the water waves in X-Plane 12 are affected by the weather speed and direction. Let's take a look here. We're going to increase the wave high to 6 feet and we're going to change the direction here to 61 degrees. We're going to apply the changes and now you can see how the water waves look. As you can see now the water wave height has changed as well as the direction. Let's try a different variation. We are going to reduce the height to about 3 feet and we're going to change the direction to 88 degrees. As you can see now the height of the waves has changed as well as the direction. Let us continue exploring this preset. As you can see, the clouds in this particular preset and configuration do not look very realistic. Please do note that this is early access and things are subject to change, but for completeness sake, I wanted to show you exactly how this looks. One of the nice things in X-Plane 12 is the development of very realistic and immersive soundscape. When it rains, you will hear the rain, and you will hear the thunder, you will see the lightning, and it really is done very well, as you have seen in the beginning of this video. I have now cleared all the wind and cloud layers. Let's go ahead and add our own layers. To do this, we're going to head over back to the weather director. As you can see, there are no wind or cloud layers now. Let's go ahead and add one cloud layer and one wind layer. You can control the parameters of the wind layer from the left side of the screen. You can change the altitude, you can change the direction, the speed, the turbulence, the gust speed increase, and the total wind shear. To make changes to the cloud layer, you can come here and change the cloud type the cloud coverage and the top and base of the cloud. Change it the bases and the tops. And now we're going to move this cloud layer to this position here. As you can see, once you move it, it will show you the altitude that it will cover. And so this broken cloud layer is going to be at 755 feet all the way to 12,471 feet MSL. From this section here, you can control the atmospheric conditions, such as the visibility. You can also change the precipitation. As you can see, the minute you move the slider to the right, it will show you visually that this cloud layer, it has precipitation. We can also change the temperature at the airport. You can also switch this to Fahrenheit, or to Celsius. We're going to change the temperatures to minus 23 Celsius. We'll leave the altimeter and we're going to change the runway wetness to standing water medium. We're going to leave the wave height at 1.1 feet and the wave direction at 270 degrees. We're going to make the variation a little variation and evolution over time improving. We're going to select done and apply. Now we have exactly the preset that we have created. Take a notice of the water on the runway, standing water on the runway, right here. In order to complete the experience of customizing the weather, we have to take this 172 Cessna for a short flight around Portland International. Parking brake is released, and let's give it full power. to rotate at 60 knots. There's definitely a lot of wind there. Right, let's go ahead and rotate. And we can 
can see that the wind component that we've added is definitely depicted here in the simulator. You can also change the weather in flight. Let's do this. We're going to go to customize. And as you can see, this is now the wind layer. So we're going to change the wind layer here. And we're going to add another wind layer. And we're going to change the altitude of the wind layer here. And the speed. And we're going to say apply. As you can see now, the uh, weather changes that we've made is affecting the way the aircraft flies. And this is also self-evident in the cockpit of uh, this Cessna 172. X-Plane 12 supports seasons, and by changing the simulator time to December 2022 and tweaking the parameters in the weather director, we can now fly in a snowy season here in Portland. You will also take notice that the vegetation changes with the seasons, which is a very pleasant change from X-Plane 11. It is without a doubt that Laminar Research has successfully overhauled the entire weather and environment engine in X-Plane 12. Let it be the clouds, the actual representation of weather both on the ground and up in the air, the rain effect, the soundscape for the weather components such as the thunderstorms has been definitely revamped, overhauled and I am actually very pleased with what I have experienced in this early access version of X-Plane 12. Well folks, this pretty much brings us to the conclusion of this video. I hope that you have found it useful, insightful and informative. As it is the case, if you have any questions, please do post them in the comments section below. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and hit that notification bell so that you are notified of the latest videos, tutorials, guides and streams here on the Q8 Pilot channel. Till next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.